explain a little bit about Bagua circle walking, at least the way I do it. Um, it's really good for mental focus. You have to do it in small doses. Um, don't get too carried away because you can hurt yourself. Uh, so build up to it gradually. We'll go over the footwork. So you sink weight. You extend one, and the, the feet are 45 degree heels touching. Peel off one foot, either foot. Kick straight, extending the, the, the knee should be tense as you flex out, as you stretch out, and then flex forward, shift weight gradually, kick the other foot, step turned out, kick, sink. So the, the most important little mantra to say in your head is sink, kick, sink, shift. Kick, sink, with the foot turned out, shift. Kick, sink with the back leg, then shift. So you can never get ahead of yourself. And that puts you very much in the moment with mental focus. You can never get, you have to be in the present moment or your, your, um, your footwork will falter, you'll lose balance. So you need a, a center pole I'm a broken music stand with some gold ribbon around it, but um, you can probably find something around the house like a, a mop bucket and a broom or broom handle in it. There's lots of ways to make a thing. And I like to do the static animal palms first, and I like to do different heights so that I get my shoulders don't stay stressed for too long because this can be very stressful on the shoulders. So just because we're thinking about lung right now with the virus, the one that stretches lung the most is cloud carrying. So the arms reach up straight, uh, the, uh, you know, along the flank, not behind the body, not in front of the body which this is a more martial way to do it, but right now we're working on this whole segment. So the palm is an equilateral triangle with the pointer, the thumb and the pinky, and you stretch the thumb and the pinky away from each other, and then you arch the wrist. So there's a lot of stretching in the tendons of the arm, okay, and in the hand, in this point here especially. And you're going to have the pointer finger be the, the, the center point of the triangle that's pointing out. Now you're going to look towards the mark you made on your pole and keep your eyes trained on that spot and shift, kick, sink, shift, kick, sink, and do it as slowly as you need to. The turned out foot is the inside foot. The other, the outside foot goes straight. So in order to make this go in a circle, you have to turn out the inside foot. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the rest of the palms and then you can decide if you wanna do two circles, like that might be 20 steps approximately. You know, uh, you have to really play with this and not overdo it so that you <clears throat> hurt your knees and hurt your thighs. Okay, so since we went up, let's do down. Let's do wood floating. Kick, sink, shift, kick. Now I'm going to turn the other way. Kick, sink, shift, kick. So now the other foot is turned out. And remember to maintain the eye focus and the head turn. Let's do dragon palm. So this is guarding the flank with the lower hand. This one is mid, you know, this is like halfway between up and down. So 
you're going to look through your pointer. This one, this one is probably the one that creates the most mental focus because you're looking at the pole, at this one point on the pole, through your pointer finger. The lower arm is tucked in closely towards the rib cage, guarding the flank. 